All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Grounded, part fifty. <laughs> part fifty. My brain short circuited. Day seventy, and it's almost five in the morning. Uh, we went ahead and got back home. We reorganized where our chests were and our lean to a little bit, as well as uh, cleared things out a bit. And I did some like basic stuff. I also made a zipline anchor on the top of the tower to make uh, to make it easy to set up on the other side, so we can get a zipline over there as well. Um, yeah, uh, we also got some new things to look at. We have mint staff, spicy staff, and sour staff. Like. Mimics the effects of a magic spell found in Minotaurs and Myrmidons. So once we get Pond Moss, Pinecone pieces... I don't know what Pond Moss is, but... We should be able to get it pretty easily, eventually, I would think. I don't know, we've gotten Pond Algae before, but... Pond Moss, I'm a little worried about. I'm not sure how to get that. At the bottom of a pond. Alright, maybe I just missed it when I went down, but yeah, that looks like magic is like actually a thing you can do, which is hilarious. And then, wizard hat. The perfect hat to wear when pretending to be a magic slinging wizard. Not very pretend if it like just actually works. And that's what the termite king carapace is for. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. Well, wow. All right, so the Termite King gives you access to magic, I guess. Look how much better the Sour Staff is than the Mint and the Spicy. That's totally different. That's totally different. The stun value is off the charts. I wonder if it takes longer to cast, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like the speed is good. Look at the stats on that staff. What if we end up being a magic caster all after all this? But we also have a lot of things to do today. So we also have to go and discover, go get some brain power and see what these do. I've got repair glue mashing over there. But let's go over to this field station and see what we can get. And our dandelion tuft isn't super healthy anymore, but it's hanging on. We only have one more in the chest, so I want to make them last. One day, eventually, I'm going to have to just start cutting down weed stems and grass again. There it is. Get yoked. Maximum active mutations. Five. That is sick. We don't need the my hat. No. Reject. Okay. Awesome. 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 Uh, this place always has me on edge because of... Uh, I'm just going to do that for now. We'll figure it out as we go. Alright, so these three are all common. Fire Ant Head common. Let's go ahead and hit that Brain Power level 14 or 13, whatever it is. Fire Ant Helmet and Shield. Brain Power 13. There it is. Black Ox Hammer and Helm. The Hammer! That's gotta be what the Horn gives us. And we already knew Harness and Leg Wraps. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You guys never leave this spot alone. Leave the field station alone. Orb Weaver Jr., that's just cute. I saved the Weevil's life. <laughs> How did we never get this? Local fauna report. Read that if you want to read that. That's crazy. How did we never read that? Alright, Fire Ant Mandibles. So I think this Black Ox Horn is going to tell us we could make a hammer. <sighs> fire Ant Club, Fire Ant Chest Plate. Dude, if that's the Tier 3 hammer, then I know what we're doing today. Instead of exploring more of the backyard, we got to go advance the story. Pupil Leather, what is that for? There have been Pupil Leather items before. Um, oh, it's out of charges. Oh, it's coming back soon. It's an uncommon. Okay. That'll get us up to night. That'll get us up to 70 there. Okay. Maybe we could have read the local fauna report during this little interim here. My bad. My bad. 
Seven Eleven. Okay. I just don't think we need any of this. I'll do this. You know, maybe we end up doing this. Maybe. We need to spend our science on something. Here we go. Black Ox Horn. None, because it was going to tell us about the hammer, I bet. Oh, if that's the hammer, then we're so set. And we're only 80 brain power away from the next level as well. We got halfway to brain power 14. Uh, I'm recording this one immediately after the last episode. This is the same day. Um, I know I'm going to be busy tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to record. So these last two episodes will be same day. Um, both 69 and 70. So if you left a comment on 69... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna see it before 70 gets recorded. Sorry about that. You guys have been leaving great comments, by the way, on all the playthroughs. I, it's been really fun to have you guys interact and all, for all this time. Okay, come on, baby. Give us the good stuff. Pupil leather, yeah. Fire Ant Club? Look at the stun on that! Plus crit days! Hmm. Thank God! We need two pupil leather. We don't have enough. You're actually kidding me. I needed more pupa parts. Well, looks like we're exploring the backyard again. Son of a... No! We were so close. One horn, five black ox parts. We have all the black ox things we need. We just need pupil leather. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, man. Pupa's not an animal. Yeah, so these are our uh, new chests for things we don't have yet. Um, yeah, because we ran out of space in this other one. Is what it is. Pupa hide can go in this one. No, let's put it in the rarer ingredients chest. This one. There we go. Okay, so that's there. Uh, repair glue still mashing. We did make a splat burst for stickiness. And this is all done with our repair glue. I made those. I made five with 20 termite parts. Good trade, in my opinion. Because we're going to need to repair this armor soon. And this very soon. So I'm just going to take the repair glue with us. And we're going to eat this last mint shard to free up inventory and get our hunger up. And I think we're good. I think we're good to continue exploration. I would love to... We're going to have to bring the red ant helm for weed stem stuff. Here we go. Alright. So let's pop that on so we can carry six. And then we're going to carry that down. Let me, let me drink one water real quick. Just so that we're full before we leave. So now we can carry the full six with the helmet on. I'm going to try to send them down the zip line. Because I think that works. And then go set up another zip line over here. Uh, yeah, I'm growing grass right now. If it grows one grass, that's not worth it. But, you know, now we'll know if that's what it does. So let's go. Uh, this I guess this will be a shorter episode as opposed to the last episode, which was longer. Because we're starting this one at 5 in the morning, and it's already 9 in the morning, yeah. Definitely a shorter episode, but that's alright. We're going to get some stuff done. We're going to get pupas. We're going to get uh, a, the new zip line set up. We're going to get stuff done. Here's the new zip line right here. Oh my god, I didn't bring the clay and the silk rope. What am I doing? Alright, can I send this down? Uh, No? If I hit G... Oh, it did work. Okay. How cool is that? Yeah! That's awesome! Now let's go get the clay and silk rope we're gonna inevitably need to connect all this. Almost right in our water bucket. Okay, so silk rope. We're gonna need one. And then clay. Wait, that was in there too. Oh, we need four. We don't have four. I'm gonna have to dig up some clay while I'm there. I'll just leave this here and dig up clay while I'm there. Okay. Clay is plentiful. We can go get some of that. No worries, no worries. Did I not repair? Oh, this is the red ant helmet that's almost broken. Yeah, that's fine. 
was gonna say is my thing almost broken and this also takes 48 hours to grow just like mushrooms so i guess that's just how long things take to grow no matter what you plant i don't know why you would grow grass though it would take so much time to set up enough farming stations to grow a good enough quantity of grass to make it worthwhile if you ask if you ask me all right so we have our silk rope we have no clay. We are going to have to bring that. Let's go ahead and get down there. Get some pupa, get some clay, and set up this zip line. Oh, she loves this. <laughs> Look at her face. What? Yeah, I literally just came straight across back through those lily pads. It was nice and convenient, actually. Alright, so how are they over here? Are they just, like, thrown about? Oh, no. Where'd the weed stems go? Did they fall? What? Well, now I'm just sad. I thought you could send them over and then they would just appear over here. But maybe they fell off? I don't know what else could happen. Damn it, man. All right, we're gonna have to get more weed stems too. But we brought the silk rope at least. The one thing you can't just find, you have to make. Alright, so we need clay. We need six weed stems. We can get that right here. And we need three pupa hides. That's our bare minimum while we're out today. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go. Go set up where we're going to set up. There should be clay around no matter where we go. Pupa is going to be harder to find. There is some in the gulch. The, like, trenches over there. I might leave this here. Go get that real quick. That way I know where some pupa is that I can grab real quick. Not completely ideal because I don't like going into that trench because it's so annoying to get back out of. But I think it's the right call here. We know, we know where this pupa is, so we can just grab it. Man, it's funny, but this section of the upper backyard just feels explored, conquered almost. I hate those. To the point where, like, I don't feel like the same trepidation I used to feel so recently when I was in this area. God dang it. I hate ladybird larvas with a passion. And I mean a passion. They're the worst part of grounded. They're so annoying. Moving on. Because I, I don't want to focus on the annoying stuff. I want to focus on the fun stuff. Pupa. There's the clay. Alright, we need four. I'll take extra, but I'm also willing to drop extra if we get extra. Yeah. Six. Okay, yeah. That's plenty. Get these three pupa, then we can set up the zip line, and then we'll have a little bit of extra time in the day to just explore. Just for the sake of exploration. And then next time we come back, we'll be able to make the tier three hammer and really explore. Aha! I thought there might be something down here. <clears throat> Dirty marble. Thank you very much. We have so much sturdy marble and quartzite in the house, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I should show you the chest for those that are interested. Just, like, open them so you can pause your game if you want to look at what we have, what we're working with. Alright, where are the pupas in here? I know they're in here. I remember seeing them. I just don't remember where in the gulch they were. Where in the gulch were those pupa? Two brittle quartzite right there. We don't need that. They were here somewhere. It's all, it's all, it's, it's all, it's all, yeah. I just, I don't even know what to say. I just love the game. It, it always, there's always progress to make. There's always something new to explore. There's always something new to fight just about.
as long as there's no ladybird larvas in your vicinity. It's wonderful. I'm just gonna jump in. Pupas! Where are you? I know you're here. I've seen you in the past. There's one. We need at least three, minimum. What? There's one. I was about to say, like, what? I saw zero right there. Oh, they're well hidden. Maybe that's why I wasn't seeing them from up top. Another one. Okay. One more pupa, though, and we've got what we need. One more. One more. There's one. And there's the orb weaver's back. I'm just going to grab extra while I'm here. Might as well. I'm probably going to need pupa hide for something down the road. Don't need to pebble it, though. Yeah, I'm. let's go ahead and harvest up. I know this is kind of usually the thing I do off camera is just harvesting a bunch of stuff, but... We'll harvest a bunch of pupa. Oh, hello. Mm, can't waste food. Can't waste food. Mm, can't, waste can't waste food. I guess while we're here, let's get some more clay. Doesn't hurt to bring some clay back. We only have two at the house. We probably should get some. Six each rock. Not bad. Okay. All right. Now we just have to get out. Which should be towards ox beetles in this direction. Okay. So we've got everything we need. Like, everything that we need, we have. Are there things I'd like to find? Absolutely. But we have the pupa hide. We have the... What is my brain doing right now? Weed stems. We have all that stuff. There's a way out right here. Oh, I see. That's how this all connects. There's a treasure here. Hello? There's a cha-cha. Interesting. Sure, why not? Cha-cha, real smooth. It's already 1.30. Double ox beetle right there, and there's a buried treasure there. Hey, hey. Come get it, big guy. I thought the other one was about to join him. I'm not willing to fight two at the same time. Here he comes. Nice. Yes, nice. Getting better at it. Okay. Again, got it. Oh my god, we're unloading on him. With the barbarian and everything. Oh my god, yes. Oh, okay, ow. Come on, get over here. Oh, hell yeah, it's fighting the la ladybird larva? I love that. Oh shit, I'm definitely gonna have to fight both, aren't I? How has it not killed the ladybird larva yet? I was about to say. Okay, come on then. Come on. Oh my god, that, that comes in quick, doesn't it? Alright, got him. And then the other one. Throw your rocks at someone else. The guy. These, these are just fun to fight, to be honest. I really enjoy fighting Black Ox Beetles. This is a fight that could become really common and I'd be totally fine with it. Oh, yeah, got him. No, 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 no. Shit. Shit. I hate you. Fucking larvas. Oh, my good God. Oh, my God. This is so bad. Gum nugget. God, I hate larvas with a burning passion. They are the worst ever. And they're just interrupting fights out here. 
Get him, Black Hawks Beetle. Get him. Very good. Now, back to what we were doing. And we're done. Jesus, those ladybird larvas, man, they're the worst. And now we used one of our gum slops when we really didn't need to. I was just in panic mode, understandably. Oh my god. They're everywhere! There's too many of them. That's the core problem. The grounded developers, you put too many. Way too many. Doesn't make any sense. There'd be way more ladybirds if there was this much ladybird larva, I'm just saying. Okay, back to actual fun game. No ladybird larvas allowed. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so tilted. Let's go get our weed stems and let's go make our zipline anchor that we had came for. And then I, th <laughs> I honest to God, think we might just go back and make the hammer. We've we've gotten some stuff while we've been out here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it'll depend on what time it is when we set up the anchor finally. Scarab! Damn it! Yeah, you need to sneak up on it. My bad. I ran out of stamina so I couldn't swing as soon as I reached it. Just don't run up on a scarab when you're out of stamina, I guess is the learning lesson here. Can you make that? Hoops. Nice hops. Okay, no ladybird larvas can reach me up on these rocks. Fuck me. Alright. It's the first time my brain is acknowledging that there are other houses next to our house. This house right here. But yeah, makes, <laughs> makes total sense. There should be other houses, shouldn't there? Alright, there's our zipline we already have set up. We have the clay and silk rope to make our next zipline. We'll go grab the weed stems, run on over. Make a tier 3 hammer. <laughs> And then not only can we go do the story, we can go back to the jungle anthill and get all kinds of Supreme Quartzite and Marble. All kinds. Just tons of it. Loads of it. Uh, I wonder, And I'm hoping that the story is going to send us to an ominent lab. I love those ominent labs. The weed stems are gone again. No, there they are. I was going to say, do they despawn after a while? Nope, there they are. Nice. Nice. We have everything we need. Run for the hills. I'm glad the red ant helmet didn't break, actually, because then we wouldn't be able to carry these weed stems. That would have been very sad. I guess we're, we are going to have to repair that when we get back home. Okay, so I do want to go quite a ways before we set up the anchor here. Yeah, quite a ways. We have the zip line to be able to get to that quickly. We have a zip line to be able to get to the shack quickly. We don't have a zip line for this middle area, and that's really what I want to focus on. What is that? Is that like a hotel or like a business building in the background? Are we near a city of or a town of some sort? Yeah, there's one over there too. I think we're kind of like in centralized towards like a town or a city based on those buildings right there. Alright, but I don't want to go right next to where fire ants are, like, constantly spawning, you know? That's probably not the best plan. So let's go past this guy here. Come on, then. Let's go. Ah, bad block. No, don't break my helmet. <laughs> I just realized my, 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 helmet, my helmet HP is not good. So let's be careful of that. Here's where the ones are spawning in the rock. Yep, they're in the rock. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. All right, and this is kind of... And this is kind of close to the jungle anthill, too. Nice and central. Okay. This might be a good spot right here. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Zipline anchor right here. Hell yeah. 
right over the central part of the lake. Yeah, the jungle ant hill's right there. It's central. We can easily reach all of this from this zip line right here. Yep, let's do it. There it is. And uh, it's going to take 16. That's not too bad to connect. That's not too bad at all. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, we do have a little bit of time. What can we do with this little bit of time here? Maybe I'll travel down the rocks here just to see what the outside of this area looks like before we delve in deeper on a future day. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Maybe I want to move... Actually, maybe I want to move the zipline over this way. I'm sorry. I know that's kind of a waste of time a little bit, but I think I do want to move the zipline. That tastes really good. We can relocate it. There's not even a zip line. There's not even a zip line on it yet. I think I want to move it just a little further down. Yeah, relocate. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. That way we're even closer to the new stuff and all that other stuff. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Right across. Lily pads beneath us. This on the other side. So food on the other side if we ever need food before we adventure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. So we're set on that. This goes to a juice box over this way. We know that that like Halloween thing is terrifying. It's got tiger mosquitoes and stuff around it. Milk molar. Ooh. A little car right here. There goes the juice drop. Pipeline too. Man, we are, we are deep. A cassette with nothing next to it, okay. What is this area here? And what is that? Are those, are they just normal berries? How do you get up there? Apparently this is supposed to be somewhat climbable. Those are just gnats, right? Yeah. Not like a tiger gnat or some shit. It's just standard berry. Okay. We do need more berry chunks, so I guess I'll take those three. We're not exactly crushing for inventory space. Alright, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is the beginning of this section. We, we're, we still haven't explored all this, which I want to do first. And then... Oh my god. That looks awful. <laughs> Uh, it's just got a staircase up and stuff. It's cool to have another view on this, though. That looks like a extra big mosquito up top. That could be that could be really bad. That is cool right there. That is cool. Okay, there is a milk molar right here before we head back, and then we're gonna go ahead and make the hammer. Hup. There it is. Yes. Oh, and there's Christy Dalkar. <laughs> nice. And sour wormholes we can't get yet because I don't have the tier 3 hammer, but that's coming. It's coming. It's going to happen. Just you wait, hoops. It's happening. More sturdy quartzite because, you know, everybody carries sturdy quartzite in the trunk. Gotta have it. Where did where did the other sturdy piece go? What? I'm sure we'll find it in a second. Yeah, there it is. This is Yeah, sturdy quartzite. I was gonna say, is this Supreme? What's going on? Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. There it is. Okay. And then there's wormholes here when we're ready to have a tier 3 hammer which is coming up yes it is I am so ready for that these pipes usually have something in them we have some daylight left hello supreme quartzite nope sturdy quartzite okay that's it in this direction and then this way 
Ooh, that goes on towards some um, Supreme Marble, maybe? Yeah, that's definitely Supreme Marble. And an exit. Where does this lead out? Into the berry field. Okay. Good to know. So there's Supreme Marble at the this end of the berry field. Oh my god, we, <laughs> we got a little closer to that Halloween nightmare. Man, I want to see if we can scan that extra big wasp up there. Let So we know what it is, but oh well. Alright. Let's go ahead and head home. We are hungry. Yep. Let's head home and let's make a tier 3 hammer. I'm stoked. There's a web weaver stuck in the air. That's like a Bethesda feature outside of Bethesda games. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go back to where there's lily pads. I don't want to swim across an entire koi fish pond here. You guys never get to watch me run back, so since this will be a shorter episode, you can go ahead and skip this if you like, but um, in case you want to join me on this journey back to the house, this is usually how I do it. As I find a spot I'm ready to jump off on, and then I just... Here we go. Very nice. That was probably a tad later than I would have liked to on the dandelion tuft, but... I don't know where the koi fish is. Let's not even mess with that. And then lily pad our way back across. Oh my god, it's right underneath us. Oh boy. Oh boy. So that means that it's a no-go right now for heading back across the water. <laughs> I gotta give some time for the thing to go away. Where is it? I can see that, but I can't see the fish. It was just here. We heard it. We definitely heard it. Okay, let's go across. I feel like now's a chance for us to make our move. What? This got so risky all of a sudden. Go. And we missed our jump. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, now that we've made that little gap in the middle... We are home free. I usually don't hear the fish, so I usually don't have to stall like that, but... <laughs> better safe than sorry. Alright, here we go. Home sweet home. We just go, out the, go up the back here. And we have made it to safety. And more importantly... Uh, just as importantly, I really do like my safety. <laughs> Just as importantly, it's time to hit that workbench for real, for real. This is it. I gotta get rid of that staircase. I was gonna build a staircase there to make it easier to get up here, but I'm never gonna use it. And it's a lot of work to set up, so just get rid of it. Let's do this. Back up we go. We didn't even have to repair our stuff yet, so that was nice. Very convenient. Leave the red helmet behind. We can just get ourselves ready for the next episode, honestly. But this hammer is really what I'm stoked about. Not only can we finally get all those supreme things to maybe get towards making, like, jewels and stuff to be able to get our tier 8 and 9 armor and stuff, but also... the story, more importantly. We could finally con continue the story because we have the hammer it demands of us. Thank you. Alright. Here it is. The hammer. Oh, we gotta make the leather. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I about panicked. The hammer. <laughs> black ox hammer. What's funny is this is the first tier 2 tool we got was the black ant shovel, I think. No, it wasn't. No, we got this stuff. Never mind. Just kidding. I wonder what the tier 3 hammer is gonna be for. But there it is. Boom. We have a tier 3 hammer. Ooh, fire ant shield. Wait a minute. That's the level 3 shield. Block strength, block corrosion. Well, alright then. Fire ant helmet. Corrosion and medium armor. I don't know what corrosion is. Overbearing in medium armor. Isn't overbearing the acorn thing? No, that was major threats. I don't know what overbearing is. 
Fire Ant chest plate is also corrosion. Okay. Interesting. Black Ox Hammer. There it is. At long last. This is the hammer that we are probably using the rest of the game. We've made it. We've actually made it. Uh, we don't need this hammer anymore, so I'll go ahead and destroy it. You served us well, sir. You served us well. Sort the backpack. Uh, we don't need the red ant helmet anymore. Or at least not for right now. Armor protection, engage. There's that. Then the animal pieces. Bird landed somewhere. More clay for later. And berry chunks, rocks, of course. Candy cha chas go in here. Grab another mint for food. Sort the backpack. Yup, it's looking good. It's looking real good. I am so ready to continue this story. So ready, so ready. Let me go ahead and put five repair glue away. Because we're only going to need three in the near future. And there it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking mad set. We're looking ready to investigate further. Let me grab 16 So Let me just grab a stack of silk rope. I don't remember how much it was. My memory's not that good. We'll make the other zipline anchor. We're not going to use it next time, but we're going to make it. And then we will be prepared. Twenty-four more hours on that. Oh. It's just, it feels good that everything's coming together. The shovel's the only tier 3 thing left that we need, and then we should be able to interact with everything. I have seen no indication that there is a tier 4. Tier 3 seems to be the end-all be-all. Maybe tier 4 will be like, boss rewards or something, but I can't imagine there's tier 4 tools. Can't imagine. We've already seen so much of the world. No. That one. There it is. 16 is how many we needed. And there it is. Connected. And now we have our quick access over to this side of the yard. Beautiful. 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 Now we just need a zip line for, I mean, what? The sandbox or picnic? I don't think we're ever going back to those places. And if we are, it's rare. Tree there. Yeah, this dandelion tufts on its last legs too. We should probably grab the last one. Our final tuft. We're gonna have to start hunting more tufts down now. And now we have 19 silk rope left, so probably only one more um, zipline anchor even makeable before we get more silk rope. So that's worth considering too. But yeah, next time. Ladies and gentlemen, next time we're going to go back to continue the story. I'm super pumped to get that done. I'm stoked that we have a part tier 3 hammer so that next time we're near the jungle anthill, we'll go in and get a bunch of supreme stuff. Huge. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Hoops and I on this journey in Grounded. And we will see all of you for a big episode next time.